Hey guys, um, this is Theta. I'm doing a tutorial really quickly on making the preview images for your character. This is the uh, selection image you see on their, on the character select screen and their stock icon, as well as their uh, battle portrait. So, um, yeah, I, I've created actually a, a Photoshop script, which is one of the two essential components for this, and um, it will pretty much automate the process for you, making it a lot easier. Um, it really is the most user-friendly thing ever. Okay, I try, I try to stay with that for most of the stuff I do. Um, so, what you're going to need to do is, I've already, I'm going to assume that you know how to use, um, you know, uh, Project M on Dolphin. And uh, if you don't, look up tutorials. I have one on modding that shows you how to do it. Um, otherwise, just look around the forms, okay? And um, this is one of the ways to do it where you have a bunch of different images for the characters, because that's the way I like it, if you want to have a different way. Just set the poses inside of Brawl Box, and I'll do a different tutorial on that some other time. So, um, assuming you have Dolphin um, with Project M, all you need to do is um, start running it after you've replaced the, the other important file, which is a pink Final Destination I have put inside of my downloads for the video. Um, so once you have your Final Destination inside of Dolphin replaced with uh, that one, go ahead and run uh, Dolphin. And I'm going to go ahead and go into a character I need to use. So uh, here's an example of some of the finished ones. Mario, the Fire Mario, Ice Mario. They're not the title, but the image themselves. You get the point. So, um, yeah, it looks fine. And, I mean, it's like, it takes like five minutes to do a whole set of images. Alright, so um, what we're going to do is select a character that you um, need to make images for. And go into Final Destination. Once you have the pink stage loaded up. So... This is the wrong character, sorry. Alright, there we go. So, um, there we go. I have this mech character I put over Lucario, and he doesn't have any images yet. The cool part about this is, um, unlike with Brawlbox, this, uh, method of, uh, taking CSP files will not only, um, have the lighting effects, like, uh, you can see the reflections on him where he says Pentagon, uh, pentagons, hexagons yeah um they'll show up inside the csp so it'll look exactly as it does in game um so you're not having any fake lighting like in brawl box and it also will have effects like transparent stuff um, and that's all handled by the script so um we're gonna need is you're gonna need about three or four different image things here we're gonna have to do the stock the um battle portrait and the csp i also take a result screen portrait because you can make them different so, four images total, uh, three if you don't want to have a different result screen. Um, and one of them needs to be the stock image, which is going to be of his uh, of the character's face. I usually like to uh, have a, just make them jump, because that usually makes their head kind of bob up a little bit. Uh, I didn't do the neck correctly on this character. Um, but, really all I need to do for now is take the images. So, I'm getting a good angle of his face, or his head there. And... I chose the character with the weirdest face to do this. Alright, it doesn't matter. So, um, take a picture of their face. And, uh, F9, or whatever button you have set to the screenshot button. So take a screenshot of their face. And uh, the big thing you need to do is have uh, anti-aliasing set to off. Uh, that will not sh the anti-aliasing will not show up inside the images when you finish them, but uh, in order for the script to work properly, you cannot have aliasing on. Um, you won't notice that anyway, so don't worry about it. So, um, let's see an image of their face, and get another one of, like, them looking towards the camera in some kind of pose. So, here's another one. And there we go. So that's going to be the battle portrait, and then the CSP can be whatever you want it to be. It really doesn't matter. Um, I forgot to put fire effects on this character. Also, remember it is as FD, so uh, you're going to, you know, don't move around too much or you'll kill yourself. <laughs> um, maybe this? No. You know, line up his little shot thing. So that looks pretty cool. So I'll take a picture of that too. And that will be my character select screen portrait. 
curious about this is the worst character to do this with I'm sorry I'll have this as my uh, results screen for you. It doesn't matter. They're just different images. So once you have your images, uh, you can exit out of Dolphin. And we're going to go into Photoshop now and open up the images we just made. So I'm going to go into this, this, and... Um... None of my screenshots. Oh, wait, no, there, here they are. That was just weird. Okay. So I have my images here, alright? Um... Now, let's open up the script I made. Uh, so, we're gonna go master csp dot dash, you know, it's just the top script, okay? So, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click play, it'll give instructions. I already know the instructions, so I'm gonna skip through most of it. Um, I will explain them to uh, you. So, when you see this window with this white up here, um, it's gonna select all the pink in the background um, to get rid of. And, uh, so basically, if, it, if you see this image here and the white is already showing, just click OK, which means it's already selected it. If it's not, it means uh, for some reason it didn't carry over. That shouldn't happen anyway. Um, uh, if that does happen and this, you just don't see that, just click the pink area. But uh, normally you can just click OK here. So it will get rid of most of the pink. You can see there's still some pink around the edges and transparent things inside the image. Um, so now it selected other pink values which might occur in the image. So now you can see the pink is pretty much gone. So um, if you do see some pink though, just hold shift, uh, which will add to your selection, and click the colors. Uh, if you want to minus color, click uh, hold alt and do the same thing. Uh, I don't have to because I already got, found all the pink in the image, so I can click OK. Um, and once you do that, it's going to make the image black and white. Don't worry, that's not what your final image is going to look like. Um, it's going to tell you again, uh, for this window here, basically what it's saying is, uh, this chooses which completely transparent uh, pixels are going to be in your image uh, and it basically makes it so like if you during your pink selection you accidentally chose part of the actual character's colors and make it so your final CSP doesn't have any transparency in it which will ruin the image so what we're gonna do is say uh, as I scroll up more transparent pixels will show up and to fix this I'm mean, just scroll down until you see none of the transparent pixels that are off the character so like see how these like this aura or spheres or whatever you call them are uh, overlapping his hands that's fine that you can keep that but anything on the outside that'd be hovering around here uh, you want to scroll until you don't see that anymore so click okay once you have that and uh, the pink is gone now <laughs> so uh, after that it's gonna go ahead and uh, start stylizing the image um, the lighting is gonna look weird at first so uh, you're gonna adjust it I'm gonna make it so I can see all the details I want to a little more contrasted and there we go so uh, that's the first adjustment, and now we can have a warming filter, which is, uh, I don't know, it makes characters look warmer. I noticed that they care, uh, tend to be, um, you know, a lot more warmer pictures inside of the uh, Smash Bros. 4, uh, which is what I base mine off of. Um, so, uh, you know, if it looks fine to you, you can change the filter. It, this is really just for, you know, just for preference. Um, so click OK. And then uh, you're going to do color adjustments, so if you want it to be uh, more you know, saturated or whatever, you can adjust the vibrance and the saturation, whatever you want to do. Um, so back there, and saturation usually is just fine. So uh, we got all of our stuff good, and after this, it's going to do a final adjustment for the lighting so you can see the image better. Um, and once that's done... I usually raise the contrast up a little bit. So now we have a good looking image, right? And we have the edges and are now uh, slightly slightly blurred, uh, so you don't see the aliasing. Uh, when you scale the image down, because right now it's 1920 by 1080, uh, so when you scale the image down, it's not gonna actually uh, be all blurry and everything will look fine. Um, the cool part is that if we make a new layer, we can see that. Uh, I'm just black inside of it. You can see the, the pixels, the transparent ones from the uh, screenshot are still there, which is uh, usually, I don't see that happen in a lot of uh, green screen or brawl box things, because brawl box you can't even render effects, but this one, you keep everything directly from game. Uh, so now we have that, and we're going to choose each type of image we want to make. I'm going to choose CSP first. Um, if you want to, the script allows you to keep the same image and use it for all of the different images. Um, I like having different ones, so I'm going to use a different one, but um, you know, select whatever type you uh, image type you want for the image. So I'm gonna choose this as my CSP. Actually, this is gonna be my battle portrait because he's facing the camera. No, no, that's the other one. This is my CSP. <laughs> um, 
So uh, it's going to tell you choose your character's image. This is for your character selection screen picture. Uh, this top sixth of the image around here is right where the ready to start banner will cover when you choose uh, all your characters are ready to fight. Um, so make sure your head's not completely up there or anything important. I usually have it around here. That's a, you usually see it's pretty safe right there. Um, so if you do that, it will resize it. Um, and I've already set up the compression settings in this window here to uh, save the most space. So now we have a 30 kilobyte um, CSP image. If you want to compress it more and you know what you're doing, you can choose PNG 8 and make it a little more comp compressed. But exporting like this will give you uh, the uh, nice transparency of the edges of the image, which looks nice. So um, you can pretty much just save it and choose wherever, it doesn't matter. And it will, uh, it's done with that. So now we have our image again. And uh, after you're done with each one of the CSP battle portrait stock, let's say you want to use it for something else, it copies it to your clipboard so you can use it for something uh, in Photoshop. So um, that's good. I have that. I'm going to use this one for my uh, battle portrait. So I'm going to click the same thing. A master script. Continue. Get rid of all the pink. Continue. And there, see, that, see how the end there that starts to appear, the transparent stuff? Move until I can't see that. And we're good. A little bit on the left of Lucario. Right there. Okay. And after that, the pink is gone. We'll start stylizing. So the rest is something I'm just kind of breeze through. Uh, the slight difference you'll see when uh, doing the battle portrait is that the uh, ratio is different, and this keeps it, because uh, that's the actual ratio that the battle portraits are supposed to be. So uh, don't worry about it, and just, um, you know, it's fine. Just with that, same thing happens. It's going to do the compression. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. It really doesn't matter. And we have the image again here. And now the battle portrait is copied to my clipboard, just as I said uh, before. Alright, so um, now I'm going to use it for a stock image. Uh, I could use the same one, I'm going to use uh, this one instead because it has its head. I'm going to click uh, Master one more time. It's fine. Pink is gone. does take a bit of resources um, to run multiple times because the images will get more detailed and uh, you know as you do it more Alright, now for the stock image, um, go ahead and click play, and right away it says to, uh, you know, cut a, uh, cut a head around your character. So I'm going to choose what I want to be the head. This would have actually made a better battle portrait, so I'm going to use this for my battle portrait afterward, and I'll show you. Great. For the head, you really don't have to be, you can be sloppy as, well, as you like, as long as you get the right details in the, uh, in the you know, the selection. 
Um, so don't worry about it, just select the head anyway. And then after you're done clicking the head, click play again. And then click continue. And we're going to move the head in here. And try to move this down. Until as many areas. Because so you can see, the uh, board is touching the image on three sides. However, it's not going to touch there. So after that, it's fine. Just um, enter. And your stock image is uh, ready to export, and it is exported inside of um, PNG 8. So click PNG 8 instead, and then click, um, what's it called, save, that's fine. You can rename it to whatever you want it to. I'm going to make a, a, a what's it called, battle portrait out of this too, so I'm going to click battle portrait. This is actually a great battle portrait. Again, I recommend naming them. I'm just this is just a tutorial, so I'm not really worried about that. And then um, now for the stock image, uh, actually I already made one. So uh, that is how you make those images. And now we can see they're all my desktop. They all look exactly as they need to, and they are the correct size. So if we open this up, let's see if the uh, everything looks fine. And now we're gonna put this in game real quickly to show you guys. Option, change directory, desktop, oops. So why not, okay, so, I'm gonna go, my, uh, so now I'm gonna click here, go down to Lucario. Currently I have it over the first slot, so where I have Deoxys, so I can just, not have this. It's fine, you can see the images uh, fit the size perfectly. And I chose the wrong image to put there. Magic. So there we go. Save, save, save. And what do you know? Okay, so now I'm going to go up and, uh, update my virtual SD card. And delete these. One thing also to note, um, when you are doing this, uh, the stock images, uh, if you're doing, you know, um, it, it, they're not going to be on the result screen. What I'm going to plan to do is, uh, after I have all my stock images made, and you can just do this once you have your stock image, just um, instead of putting it into the uh, costume manager, what I would suggest doing is uh, replacing the respective character stock image in your actual result screen stage, there's a, um, I, I believe there's a uh, Mystic Data um, package that uh, has has all the stocks. So find it and replace it. But it is it's ready to go. So so now I'm open up Dolphin again, and the images should be in there. Again, the huge part of this is the uh, final destination stage that I included and the um, and Lucario I over one we have his image and there it is you can see the transparent pixels are there too if you really want to you can just delete them off um, but you know yeah so there's his image I'm gonna go in game on to you know, why not why not multi bill see his image appears there below him and yeah then if I go to uh, the result screen his image is there again. So that's uh, that's how you do images. It's pretty it's pretty simple, especially when you have a Photoshop script. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's it.